Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this uh, program called Know Your Leader in Depth. I'm your host, Deadly Poison Kembo. And with me here is the, uh, is the aspiring candidate for the Ministry of Trade and Commerce. Uh, I'm here to ask him about three things that he's here to offer to the students. Uh, Mr. Andrew Kalima, welcome to this brief interview. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Okay. Uh, without wasting much of your time, I'd like to find out who is Andrew Kalima or who is Unza Chapamo. Okay. Unza Chapamo is just a slogan that I thought of coming up. All right. Like in the situation that we have now, we need to come together so that we can achieve a common goal. Okay. So. Chapamo simply means togetherness, including each and every student at this university of Zambia, leaving no one behind. All right. So you have heard Chapamo means togetherness. Uh, I'd like to find out what are you offering to the students or what are you going to do for them? Because for us to vote for leaders, we must know what they're here to offer right. to us, things that will make us, uh, will make our lives better. Yeah. What are you offering to the students? Okay, I've got what I'm calling a full uh, strategic plan, All right. and in my plan I've got equality, accountability, strength, as well as innovative. All right. So uh, under strength, we want to recognize each and every business that is being done within campus and incorporate those people who are doing business using a platform that will be calling an e-commerce application, which will link buyers and sellers from different uh, hostels. Very interesting. Thank you. All right. Uh, then on the part of um, equality or maybe providing a ground for everyone to showcase their businesses, do you have anything in mind on that area? Exactly. We do have what we are calling uh, an in, in the business day where students who are doing businesses will be given an opportunity to trade on uh, eco ground or plain ground should I say. So this will be done once, a month, uh, once or twice in a month where people, uh, students rather, will be given an opportunity to showcase their merchandise all right. in order to increase the sales. Right. So s this simply means in your manifesto you have set, you will set a date once a month where everyone will come on board and showcase their businesses. That's right. Yeah, exactly that. All right. Um, then what makes you think that you're the right person for the people? Why should people vote for you? Okay. The, ri the reason why I think or I believe I'm the right person is because of the ability that I have. Quite okay. We, more, we all understand that uh, the, the ministerial position of trade and commerce has to be run by someone, one who has some base financial uh, education to run the business, whether it being small or large. So when someone has the ability to run that business, that person is capable because they understand what goes in the business world. And also, for because of my qualification, I'll tell you, I've been trading... Uh, Forex exchange for two years now, All right. and I wouldn't want just that to be on me, but also to share my capability and what I'm able to do with the students at last. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you have heard. Uh, this is Andrew Kalima, uh, my host for, uh, for, for for my guest for this afternoon uh, program. He is here to offer unto us a business day, and he has also given us what he's going to do for the future. Uh, Mr. Kalima, what are your with uh, closing remarks to the students. Okay, my, my closing remarks to each and every student watching this is just an humble appeal, uh, asking for a vote. I'm asking you first year, second year, third year, fourth year, to participate so that we can make sure we elect the best uh, candidate for the best position. Because without you, we can't do it. Thank you. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, uh, Deadly Poison Timbo. This has been your number one program, Know Your Leader in Depth. See you on the other side until we meet again.